It is a Delhi based organization which works to spread and promote amity and communal harmony in the country. The youth and students form the backbone of the activities of the foundation since it believes that today's youth is the architect of India's tomorrow. समाज के सामाजिक और आर्थिक उत्थान को ध्यान में रखते हुए फाउंडेशन ने शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में जागरूकता के लिए आर्थिक रूप से पिछड़े विद्यार्थियों के लिए एमिटी स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम शुरू की है इस फाउंडेशन ने इलेक्ट्रॉनिक और प्रिंट मीडिया के जरिए भाईचारे का संदेश फैलाया और सांप्रदायिक सद्भाव और राष्ट्रीय एकता विषय पर दूरदर्शन पर सीरियल ये गुलस्ता हमारा प्रोड्यूस करके इसका उदाहरण भी पेश किया The foundation has performed exemplary and admirable role in promoting peace and harmony amongst different sections of our society. Foundation for Amity and National Solidarity Delhi aur puraskar ko hasil kar rahe hain Shri Virinder Mohan Trehan, President of the foundation. Shri Muhammad Hamid Ansari, Vice President of India, Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, Union Home Minister Shri Shushil Kumar Sindhe, Shri Lal Krishna Thpani, K. Raman Khan, eminent awardees of the National Communal Harmony Awards, Shri Anil Goswami, Home Secretary, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen. First of all, I would like to congratulate the award winners. I appreciate the initiatives taken by Union Home Ministry to establish this organization in 1992 and organizing the annual functions to recognize the services, very distinguished services provided by individuals and organizers. I would like to take this opportunity of congratulating Sri Kamliana and Sri Muhammad Abdul Bari and the foundation for Amity and Solidarity, New Delhi. The awards conferred on them today are recognition of their extraordinary efforts in promoting communal harmony in our country and in strengthening national integration within its diverse people. Ladies and gentlemen, Harmony and tolerance are at the very foundation of Indian ethos, our tradition, our history. From the ancient days, even the old hymns of Vedas say, there is one truth, integrated one, the wise, call it different names. Ekang Shat Vipra Bahudha Badanti. It's due to its legacy, India embraced and assimilated as our own the various religions, reforms, movements, and waves of Renaissance that have swept our consciousness over the centuries. In the beautiful language of Rabindranath Tagore, in his one of the important verses written 100 years ago, Bharat Tirtho, I quote a few lines. Kehu nahi jani karao bhani, koto manusher dhara, turbar srote elo kotha hote, Shamutre Holohara. 
no one knows whence and at whose call came pouring endless inundation of men rushing madly along to lose themselves in the sea sea of this vast humanity that is india this india can never be fragmented into region castes communities because if india is a fragmented then whatever will be left will not be india as such so dear were the ideas which were preached over centuries when our sages praised for all sarve sukhi na bhavantu sarve santu nirama sarve bhadrani pushantu makashchi dukha bhag bhavet so dear were these ideas to our founding fathers when they framed the constitution they drafted a specific provision in this regard thus our constitution lays down the fundamental duty of every citizen to promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of india transcending religion linguistic and region of the sectional diversities however despite this sacred mandate despite the directive principles of state policy despite the safeguards that our laws provide despite all the measures taken by our administrative machinery why is it that communalism does not seem to go away from our society why is it that we do not learn the lessons from our own history but keep repeating the same tragic mistake none of our institution preaches hatred no religion preaches discord on the contrary they prescribe that it is the moral duty of every individual and of society as a whole to spread peace and amity what can we do to uphold and implement this how can we be more vigilant against negative forces and successfully thwart their nefarious designs these are the questions which staring at us in the context of the very recent happenings i appreciate the prime minister's decision for convening the meeting of the national integration council to deliberate on these issues ladies and gentlemen the strength and resilience of indian society lies in its plurality and diversity this unique quality has not been imported from anywhere nor has it come into our society by accident rather it has been consciously nurtured and nourished by the tolerance and wisdom of indian consciousness these principles are at the very foundation of our secular fabric and although maintenance of social peace and harmony is a function of government this responsibility cannot be dealing from the duties of each and every individual citizen the distinguished awardees who we felicitated today should be emulated we should strive to complement their achievements with our own individual and collective efforts each one of us must think of our own personal contribution to peace harmony amity and accord in our respective spheres of activities dialogue never fails 
to create a confluence of the streams of diverse thought, opinion, and aspirations. It coalesces and synthesizes the currents of vibrant cultures, religion, and civilizations. It is therefore important to recognize and salute those among us who promote these methods and fight with courage against the forces of obscurantism, extremism, and militarism. Eternal vigilance is a shield against those whom harm the unity of our country. We must heed the words of the father of our nation, who was pained by communal strife and observed the lawlessness of communalism is a monster with many faces. It hurts all in the end, including those who are primarily responsible for it. These values must be inculcated from a very young age. Gandhiji firmly believed that the key to the solution of the communal tangle lies in everyone following the best in his own religion and entertaining equal regard for the other religions and their followers. I commend the Ministry of Home Affairs and the National Foundation for Communal Harmony for instituting these awards. Once again, I extend to the award winners and also to all individuals and institutions in the different parts of India engaged in building communal harmony, my heartiest appreciation and good wishes for the success of their work. To them I say, God be with you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jai Hind. Koti Koti Dhanavad Manini Rashtrapati Ji. और अब हमारा निवेदन है गृह सचिव श्री अनिल गोस्वामी से कि कृपया अपना आभार प्रकट करें रिस्पेक्टेड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया रिस्पेक्टेड वाइस प्रेसिडेंट रिस्पेक्टेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर रिस्पेक्टेड यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर esteemed colleagues and dear friends. It is a proud privilege for us in the Ministry of Home Affairs and for the National Foundation for Communal Harmony that Rashtrapati Ji has conferred the National Communal Harmony Awards to the winners for 2011 and 2012. On behalf of the Ministry of Home Affairs, the National Foundation for Communal Harmony and my own behalf, I want to convey our deep gratitude to the President of India for presenting these awards. I also thank the Honorable Vice President, the Honorable Prime Minister, the Honorable Home Minister and other distinguished guests who have graced this occasion. I want to thank the officers of the National Foundation for Communal Harmony and the Ministry of Home Affairs for their dedicated work in organizing this award function. A special word of thanks to the media for having covered this program for wider publicity of this theme, which is the need of the hour. Last but not the least, I also express my gratitude to the staff of Vigyan Bhavan in collaborating with us in organizing the function successfully. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, Sri Goswami. Now kindly rise for the national anthem. जनगण मन यधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड युत्कल बंगा बिंद हिमा चल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जल धित रंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तब जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे 
Thank you, sir, for your gracious presence. You all are requested to remain at your places till the Honorable President of India 